Hello everyone, my name is Chris, and today we will be going over a sorting algorithm known as the shaker sort. The shaker sort acts a lot like the bubble sort does, in that it compares adjacent elements and swaps them as necessary. The shaker sort is very similar to, or also is known as a cocktail sort, and yeah so we're just gonna hop right in with how the shaker sort works so it works a lot like the bubble sort and in fact they start out the exact same so you're gonna start out with the with the index comparing the one and the five right there and it's gonna say okay one is less than five so it's gonna compare the one and the five and say okay we're well, all good one is less than five keep going move on move to the next two elements in the array now it's going to compare the 5 and the 3. And it'll say, wow, 5 is greater than 3. So we're going to go ahead and swap those two elements. So it's going to make a swap. After all the red flashing has occurred. And there you go. It swaps the two elements. Now it's going to compare the 5 and the 4. Since 5 is greater than 4, it's going to swap those two. Then it'll move on to comparing the 5 and the 2. Since 5 is greater than 2, it'll swap those two as well. Now it'll go on to the 5 and the 6. Since 5 is less than 6, they will not Ooh, excuse me they will not swap now this is where the shaker sort starts to differentiate from the bubble sort once the shaker sort gets to the end of its array it'll start from the back of the array starting from the element that the the two elements that it did not that it, it compared second to last so it'll move to the last two elements, then it'll move one back. And it'll compare the two and the four. Since the two is less than the four on the left, it will keep those the same. Now it'll compare the two. Oh, sorry, excuse me, that was the five before. Now it'll compare the two and the four. Since two is greater than, or is less than four, they'll, they'll make the swap. And then they'll move on to the two and the three. Since 2 is less than 3, it'll go ahead and make the swap as well. So bring it over and make the swap. Lastly, it'll compare the 2 and the 1. And it'll say 1 is less than 2. Okay, I'm done with my, with my, sec, with my last, second to last pass. Now time to just go through the through the array one more time and just to make sure that every single item is stored. So we'll compare the first two elements. One is less than two. Good. Two is less than three. Good. Three is less than four. Okay. Good. Four is less than five. Okay. It'll say, okay, you're good. Move on to the next two. And five is less than six. And at this point, it'll say, okay, I'm all good. The, the algorithm worked. The array is sorted. I no longer need to do anything. It'll just walk out the door with a happy smile on its face. Thank you all for watching. Uh, this has taken me a while to, to build. And uh, hope you liked the video. Uh, I'll see you guys all later. Peace.